Hey, welcome, uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, hope you hope you enjoyed the the previous segment. How cool was that? Talking to the guys who worked on the game that we're now frantically trying to remake. Um, pretty pretty cool. Uh, let me get rid of that. Uh, yeah, we have we have another stream uh, scheduled for right about now. Um, we'll be doing something different. Uh, we are going to be uh, going into the game that we have now. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of the location quests that we're currently working on. Um, and in a little bit, I will be joined by uh, Fish Fiend, who is one of our uh, quest uh, developers, if you will, um, on the project. Uh, before I do that, though, um, I want to say again a special thanks to Nathan for organizing all this, uh, as well as to Nexus Mods, uh, Noble Chairs, GOG, and Bethesda Game Studios uh, for their amazing, uh, amazing support um, on this uh, uh, on this charitable event, as well as you, you watching this right now, as well as you donating right now. Because I saw that cheeky little donation there. This time around, when I don't get blinded, I'll try to catch them as they come in. David, thank you for the $10 donation. Thank you for working on Scoblivion. Many of us are excited and anxious, but take the time to make it good. We can't wait, and we're, we constantly support you along the way. Thank you very much. Uh, Cindy, with $25. Thank you very much. Looking forward to playing your game. Great fundraiser event. Thank you very much for saying that. Uh, Gerard, love your work, guys. Love your donation. Thank you very much. Uh, Sir Sir Emil, M -M Emil, thank you very much for the $25 donation. And Anonymous, we have an Anonymous donation for $100 freaking dollars. That's insane. Uh, as well as the top donation currently by Dras uh, for $100. Uh, and Dras happens to be uh, part of the Scablivian team. So it's it's really, really very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dras, for being you know part of the project and you know contributing to this uh, great charity, um, which, if you don't know, uh, is Make a Wish. All right, let's see. Um, I have so much to do. I'm also I'm leaving uh, on a little little trip, a little getaway for like the first time in over a year. Uh, in a few hours, so this has been one hectic evening, but it's it's been it's been awesome. It's been so cool to see uh, to see you know, all these donations and talking to people from Bethesda like this. Incredible. Um, I've actually had the opportunity once before in my life uh, when I was at my first PAX in 2018, just before the COVID pandemic. Was able to speak to uh, to some folks uh, working at ID. Who were currently working on the new Doom game um, reminded me a lot of that, and I loved every second of it then. Uh, so yeah. Okay, um, let me bring in uh, Fish Fiend, and then we'll cut the the, the crap. I, I have the bad habit of chatting so so much uh, without saying anything useful. Um, over 600 people watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. Almost 100 people currently on Twitch. Um, yeah, the um, anonymous twenty dollar donation. I I think I I made a slight mistake on YouTube. I'm doing two fundraisers now. There's one that you can see here. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. Uh, Tom, was that? Did it say Tom? Team, fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't see it. Team Caro. Okay, this is why this is why I need fish feed in in the stream. Let me let me bring him in and then we'll we'll continue this this uh, this train of thought. Mr. Fish. Hello. Hello. How are we? Good. Overwhelmed. I need you to help me with the donations. They're <laughs> coming in too quick, too hot. I can't okay. get to them in time. Lady Coda just donated 20 US dollars uh, on YouTube. Um, I do not have a way to keep track of who the most recent donation is on Tiltify. Mm -hmm. I believe we just had one from Omar Bayar for 10 US dollars. Uh, Ryan Mech on the on YouTube again. I I made a mistake, man. I <laughs> I created a new fundraiser, I think, through YouTube I, without realizing. I so we're that. now doing two. Uh, while 
while you were away, there were oh quite a God. few anonymous donations. Dude, uh, and someone just donated one hundred fifty dollars as well. The 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 the, the, um, the fundraiser on YouTube is now already at two hundred fifty dollars after like ten minutes, <laughs> while our total fundraiser at eight fifty. Uh, Nine fifteen. <clears throat> Damn it! Another donation. <laughs> it's um, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> we. Gonna be flat out. Apologies if we don't acknowledge a donation straight away, guys. They're coming in everywhere. And thank you all so much. It actually means so much to uh the, the children that make a wish help. So thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. On that note, um I actually ran into a slight technical issue. Um oh, it does work. I was gonna say I'm I'm logged out of Steam because there's someone downstairs uh playing Hogwarts Legacy, but the game booted anyway, so I think we're, we're good. <laughs> Thank you, SKSE. Let's see if this works. Hey, it works. We're good. Okay. I, um... Oh, I made a boo-boo. Which boo-boo well, did you make? Uh, I, I prepared a few characters... <sighs> But I don't see their save files, so let me. We were uh, so we were just talking to people who worked on the original Oblivion. Um, how they were talking about the the testing hall, for instance, is like the place where they went to well test uh, and, and where they got their items and their prefabs and stuff. And I was like, dude, I didn't even get to tell them. But even even the testing hall that was originally in Oblivion is remade, as you can see. Like <laughs> it, it's using the new architecture, new doors. Um, with a few additions of our own, uh, like this table was prepared specifically for today's stream, and I dumped all my regular Skyrim stuff on here as well. Um, but let me see if I can load my save file from here. No, it's still gone. That's weird. So the, the save file I made in the testing hall appears, but not the one I made outside for some reason. And this is also default Nord 01. Okay. So the save... In the testing hall is working. Uh, we can just uh, teleport out of there, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not it's not really an issue. Um, uh, Heavy burn says quick save and quick load, and that should fix the save. Okay, well, let's try that. Quick save, quick load. Hackerman. Uh, who did I just see? No, um, no, I only have please. one save file. God damn it. Oh. Um, please nerf. Thank you for the five euro uh, donation as well. That works. Oh, God. Uh, I'm merely getting my ass handed to me by uh, an imp. Starting off strong by showing off the the new imp. Yeah, yeah, this is totally by design on purpose. Ooh, uh, we have oh, some God. kind of overlay appearing there for a second. Oh really? That's no, okay. It's it's gone now. Yeah, so we have our uh, new imp model, as you guys can see, uh, worked on by our three D lead Shadow with uh, unique little custom made flapping wings. Uh, which looks also amazing. Flapping butt cheeks, don't forget about those. Oh, I mean, they're obvious. They speak for themselves. Uh, no, I don't believe... I don't believe the stream is in 4K, uh, Belikov. No, uh, I think my computer would implode at that point. Sorry. Um, it's... I'm trying to think when the last time is that we did like a, a live test stream. It, it's been it's been a while, and it's been kind of crazy. Uh, we we talked about this in the interview with the Bethesda devs as well. Um, very similar to how how they experienced the the, the game development cycle at the time. Um, is that we're we're currently at this stage where uh, we're we're trying to f finalize and polish areas, um, and at the same time we're trying to like revamp areas that are like very important to certain quests or for instance Vilverin was recently worked on by Rin which turned out really nice um Hinamoto is revamping some of the alien ruins he's done uh to make them uh look better 
uh, and it's it's kind of it's kind of incredible that we're at this stage now, where the the main prior priority seems to be on on a on a weekly basis to to try and finalize and and polish these areas so that we can you know like get into the quests and get them into a state where we feel comfortable with with a potential uh, release and it's been uh, it's been a wild few few months I'm quite excited about uh, this well excited and and absolutely terrified of like the next uh, next 11 months there's there's a few goals I have in mind for this year which I hope we can achieve um, one of which is for you as a as a quest developer to actually get into the um, the remaster and get our quests you know working nice and yeah very very excited especially looking at a location like this with um, with uh, cloud top <clears throat> the uh, location you might know from the quest fingers of the mountain um, this looks a world better than it did in oblivion uh, obviously just coming from the yeah. big improvement in engine between oblivion and Skyrim. Uh, but yeah, you know, in, in Oblivion, it was kind of just a few bits of rubble and the single pillar. Whereas yeah, yeah. for us, for us, we actually make it look like a kind of imposing, beautiful ruin. It's you know, we we I've been listening to anecdotes uh, from from Joel uh, mostly on on his time at Bethesda Game Studios and, and working on Oblivion and Skyrim and, and Fallout. Um, but a little fun anecdote that I can share on my own, uh, on, on my side finally, is that, for instance, Cloud Ruler, um, Cloud Ruler, uh, was kind of finished on, until like two weeks ago. Um, we're using Cloud Ruler for our new developer diary, so we're doing some testing and, um, we, we looked at the location and we were kind of like, okay, um, it's kind of, it's kind of underwhelming. Um, so maybe we should go back to the drawing board and, and remake it. Um, uh, and I was like, okay, uh, I wouldn't mind doing that. So I, I, uh, I volunteered to, to jump on that. Um, Diki's had some ideas um, of making it like Amun Sul from uh, Lord of the Rings movies. I tried out a few different ideas. It went nowhere. And I think like last week or maybe two weeks ago at this point, um, I, I basically in, in the Discord server, I, I threw my head in the ring. I was like, okay, I give up. I can't make anything good out of this. Uh, then Heavy Burst shows me one piece of concept art. And I'm like, okay, I, I can kind of see how that works. It was completely unrelated. It was a, a random piece of art from Google that I found. I started working on it. And I kid you not, like I, I made this thing in an hour. And I was so elated with myself because I was, I was actively trying to... Uh, give this up and like sh shift it to someone else. I was trying to get Jero to do it. I think I tagged D as well, but no one's really biting. So I was like, I'll give it one last go. And then just because I found the right piece of concept art through Heavy Burns, something is actually here now that I am genuinely kind of like shocked how how well it turned out because I don't consider myself to be uh, a good level designer at all. I consider myself to be someone who can who can tell others what to do really well. I think I'm pretty good at that. Uh, but doing stuff myself is not uh, not always my strong suit. But this turned out uh, pretty nicely. It and you should have mention beautiful you, view. You, you mean uh, you mean cloud top, not cloud ruler. Oh fuck yeah, cloud top. <laughs> Everyone in the chat was uh, either talking about excited to see cloud ruler or talking about pretty sure you mean cloud top. <laughs> uh, I mean, and also, thank you, anonymous, for the fifty dollar donation. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, that's my bad. I, I, I like the view from this area, though. It's really cool. I, I, I love what we've done with the landscaping, that how well we've made the Imperial City kind of visible from so much of the map. Yeah. Mm. It helps that across the map, let me change the time of day so the fog isn't as intense. Game hour to 12. Never mind, I did the exact opposite. <laughs> that didn't work either. Okay, well. If if you look at the map, like basically from any any point in Cyrodiil, it's it's a it's a slope. Everywhere in Cyrodiil, like the the lowest point is essentially the Imperial City. Uh, and it slowly crawls up into the mountainside. So ideally from from almost any given position in the map, you're able to see uh, the Imperial City, which is um, 
which is really cool. I also, I think, no, no, this is, this is the right, is this the right save? I know I prepared too. I was, um, I was debating on, on starting this, uh, this one around Coral actually. Uh, which the things of the mountain quest or no f for for this for today's walkthrough because we have to find Periite's shrine which I think is here somewhere off the top uh, of my no, head it's per per Periite's on the far eastern side of the uh, map. sorry S Sanguine Sanguine not Periite confusing my data princes <laughs> but uh, this it's it works we're not that far away from it. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there's these huge changes that are currently being implemented into the game. Like we, we've had Fallen work on UI, which is just, you know, orgasmically good. The, the improvements to UI we've had in the last six or uh, however long Fallen has been on the team, mm -hmm. he has done just the most incredible work to really elevate Sky Oblivion in ways that I didn't think, uh was possible yeah no same i i have to be honest uh in terms of user interface user interface was never a big priority for me uh as you know i i love to talk about the the minimal viable product and ui oh my god actual troll <laughs> the ui looks nice but it's not integral to uh to the to the game in any way shape or form Troll can't attack me because I didn't bother nav meshing the sparge because we were not supposed to be here. That's my bad. Oh my god, what a chunky boy. Uh, we're getting that overlay again. The uh... Oh dude, I, yeah, I see it now. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Hold up. I don't know what's what causing that. What in the goddamn is happening? Yeah, once once we've kind of finalized the ui i really cannot wait to show it off to you guys it is just the most incredible work yeah as well as you know we're, we're looking at um cities that are being finalized at the moment which is great uh there's been so much good work done on the imperial city as well which uh which has been super encouraging um d keys was able to pretty much start and finish the Leywin tile set in a matter of a month, I think. Um, we had Heavy Burns and Rin do the interiors for Chaden Hall. Um, there's Andre, who's currently working on the exteriors for Chaden Hall. The, the, the only things uh, we still have... I think I'm going to swap weapons to something that's not as uh, in your face on the screen. Like Umbra. Um, the Blackwater Blade is intense. Yeah, I I noticed that with a, with a few things, and I, oh, I love this sword so much. This is just the coolest weapon in Elder Scrolls history, if you ask me. But um, yeah, we're, we're working on, on sort of like finalizing all these areas, uh, which is great, you know. And then there's still other areas like the Deadlands, which need a good bit of work uh, still, but... I'm I'm confident we can uh, we can make that happen. In in general, it's just it it's it's sometimes it feels surreal to me, like where we are right now. Uh oh. I think I just froze. Oh really? Oh yeah. Might be time for a for a cheeky quick restart. Fuck. <laughs> that's okay one of the many fun parts of uh, a development build is finding things like this <laughs> uh, and you know working out why we, we have been churning through so many bugs and issues lately and it feels like every time you fix one two new ones either pop up or are found at the exact same time All right, don't worry. We're restarting the game. Uh, Mini Mayhem, thank you for the $10 donation to make a wish. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. Oh, you know what I also just noticed? The, the fucking music isn't playing in the background the entire time. 
So we were listening. We were listening to both the in-game music and uh, my oh. playlist. Oopsie. Pod Howard is sabotaging the stream. I see. No, here we go again. No. Yeah, that save bug is very strange. That's something that I believe is being fixed in the latest UI. Um, plugin. Why is the nav mesh file not loaded? Shouldn't that be loaded? Oh, it, it is loaded. Don't worry about it. Oh, just renamed. I, it's renamed. Yeah. It's it's not often though that um, people are looking at a game through this kind of lens. Like, usually when you see gameplay demos, it's when the game has been worked on and finalized to a point where this stuff basically doesn't happen. Mm. Whereas we're kind of on the uh, the opposite side of the spectrum. Like I, I know I know the, the release for Scape Legion is twenty twenty five and it seems like it's around the corner and you know, there's basically nothing for us left to do. Um, but I feel like in, in a game's development cycle, this is like the, the most intense, um, and, um, what's the word? The, 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 the point in development where like the most changes are happening, you know, you're actively trying to, to get the, the game into a, a, a state that runs, you know, for instance, that you don't get the crashes anymore. Um, which is, uh, on one hand, it's really cool that you guys get to see it. On the other hand, you know, when you're doing something like this, it can be a bit frustrating because obviously you want the game to to run well and not crash in the middle of uh, of a stream. But it's uh, it's the only way we can we can kind of like show our work, I guess. And overall, I mean, for for a game that's not supposed to come out for like another year. At the very least, you know, it's looking it's looking pretty snazzy. Um, it, yeah, it's been it's been looking incredible for quite a while now. And just with every every internal merge we do, the improvement we get uh, in like uh, entire chunks of the map to get finished or, you know, a, a dozen plus new interiors every merge like it just the the every every internal step we take just seems massive now considering yeah. how frequently we're doing them compared to you know previously we we're probably merging once every four months maybe yeah. and we, we, we've picked up the frequency and we're kind of maintaining that pace which is incredible yeah yeah it is it is, it is. um and on that it, note as well like we're, we're looking at uh, the the outside of coral now we're not gonna do a deep dive but for the next developer diary um which is it, it's been written it's currently like the voice acting is getting done and uh, we're going to start recording soon uh we're going to be looking at this city i think the previous highlight was lewin and the or, or bruma lewin or bruma uh, either one of those but even even those two cities like as the developer diaries have gone live have received um some polish some updates um, nav matching has started working on those areas, so NPCs are actually actively walking around now. All these things make for such a, a drastically different looking game from, as you say, month to month. Uh, speaking of which, I'll go through and uh, thank some more people. We've got Matt and Tony, thank you for the $10 donation. And Anonymous, thank you for the uh is that lira turkish lira maybe 30 turkish oh. yeah yeah turkish lira thank you for the 30 turkish lira donation there's and, something silly yeah. i wanted to show off and of course <laughs> it it's not here so we're, we're talking about like incremental updates and cool changes uh recently we had stars added which sounds like a, a, a small thing, but at least I have not seen anyone notice in our gameplay streams, videos, uh, and trailers that there has never been any stars. But I guess the stars are not added to this um, this weather yet. Uh, so I'll try again sometime later. <laughs> but we, we have stars now. I promise you, we have stars some of the time. 
Um, and it's just it's it's small changes like that which are just happening over time. Wait, let, let me try. No, still no stars. That's too bad. I uh, guess. And thank you, Chad, for the raid of 171 people. Hell yeah, welcome in everyone. And thank you for all the, the follows and subscriptions to the YouTube. Um, as I said, we have um, a new developer diary in the works. So at the very least, um, that's something worth looking out for uh, in, the, in the very near future. Um, which will be... What are we going to cover again? We're going to cover the city of Coral. Um, the Great Forest. We're going to be covering some of... Oh my god, that arrow just flew right by my head. We're going to be covering some of the... Um, some of the quests, like the Fingers of the Mountain. A lot of... It, oh, and the, the UI that we've been talking about that I'm, I'm going to try to avoid showing off because it's kind of like a premiere. Okay, I'm going to change the time to uh, to not be nighttime anymore, though, because it's, uh, it's very dark. It's always a bit weird for me to walk through the Colovian Highlands because this is uh, an area that that uh, that I've made. I'm not sure if you feel the same way with quests, because I, I feel like you've you've done a good fifty percent of like the the um, miscellaneous quests, right? Something like that. Uh, I I believe my number is at roughly. 35 uh, side quests and miscellaneous quests. So I've, I've done a pretty sizable portion of them, yeah, and the nostalgia playing some of them is unreal. You know, you go in and the, for me, the big ones were like Mazoga the Orc. You know, yeah. it was iconic for me as a kid. I, I always remember loving Mazoga. Um, really look forward to like once we get that entire area finished seeing that all fully playable i mean we did the demo for it that's on uh, heavy burns's youtube channel yeah um and you know the the just the the feeling you get like at, at this point because i've worked on so many quests i i don't get that nostalgia working on quests in the port i i kind of my brain switches off and i'm just i'm just plowing through them trying to get them done but the second I see any of my quest work in the remaster, uh, the the nostalgia, the motivation, like I just feel incredibly pumped every time I get to see it in the remaster. And as the pro pro uh, project continues, I'm yeah. getting to see that more and more. And it's so cool. Yeah, no, I agree. It's been um, it's been interesting as well to see how portions of the game are developing and will continue to develop. Like we have, hopefully soon, um, we'll be able to see like the actual Oblivion Gates popping up in game uh, when you have started the main quest. Because right now, for instance, the uh, the location above me here, uh, it's it's kind of like a cool, unique looking area that I made. It's got this uh, this unique looking tree. Um, but there will be, uh, once you start the main quest, um, the Oblivion Gate will spawn somewhere between this island and the, the bank, the water bank, um, and will actually like destroy this tree, for instance, and, and it will be engulfed in flames, and there will be corpses laying next to the trees of the, the bandits and hunters that have been uh, nearby. And it, it's going to be really cool to see like those parts of the map, which so far we've only worked on on the editor side like these locations have been done for in some cases years but because the um, the main quest is not properly implemented and the gates don't spawn those those uh specific locations like the the alternate destroyed versions simply don't trigger so we're we're kind of like waiting for those to uh to actually you know show up in game properly and i'm 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 quite looking forward to that. Like, I feel like that's one of the last major milestones for for the the project. It's it's just getting those oblivion gates to open up and working on uh, on the realms themselves, and then we're, we're more or less there. I, I see a question in chat that I just can't help but answer. 
uh, asking, have we done anything crazy with Ark Veg Tower? And the answer to that Dude. is absolutely. The work D has done to uh, Ark Veg Tower is, I think, some of the coolest work uh, in the yeah. level design and landscaping department we have right now. And it it's is... it's mental. Like you feel like you're you're walking into a schizophrenic, like into a schizophrenic's dream, maybe. Actually, I don't want to oversell it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, I got another question about such. Um, so we aren't re-implementing the city of such, but we have, uh, in kind of honor of uh, what was meant to be there. Um, we've expanded such into a, a rather large ruin. Uh, so there is no new city, but we've made it quite imposing and a significant part of the landscape. Yeah. I'm actually quite happy with the way um, such turned out. Um, I believe one that of, was uh, Ryan. Rin, right? Uh, Ryan, yeah. Rin, yeah. One of his first, uh, What's the point? first major, yeah, what do you call it? Like projects on the project? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it, it turned out, uh, turned out quite nicely. Um, on that note, uh, we've kind of arrived at our first, I can't read them all. They make first sense. location, which is the, uh, the Shrine of Sanguine. Um, oh, she, it was, yeah, it was Sirius, right? That did, uh, this quest, not you. Yeah, no, so I, I didn't work on this quest, but this is, uh, by Sirius, one of our other developers. Yeah. And on that note, I feel like it's worth mentioning, you know, you see people like myself or Kyle or D, we're people that are that are kind of present in a lot of these videos. There are so many people that put, you know, their heart and soul into this project that don't have uh, as much of like a public presence or present themselves yeah. publicly. Like even people that go into our community discord and the like, there, there are developers that have put thousands of hours into this project that you've probably never even seen a message in the discord from they're just uh just because you're not seeing the people present doesn't mean that they are pouring their heart into this and yeah, they all 100%. deserve just as much well, more praise than we do in my opinion they're just doing it for the love of the game yeah because I, I feel like it, only looking at myself you know you 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 get uh you get your fair bit of um internet love already you know you get your uh you get your fix um and it's a lot of the other people that you know don't go and stream or you know get interviewed on the youtube videos that put in just as much love and time if if not more in some cases um that it's it's one of, it's one of those things that's on my mind a lot like when Scoblivion fully releases when it officially comes out is like how how do we how do we get everyone's name somehow like on on this little plaque of modding history you know like how do we get everyone the the, the recognition they deserve because it's it's clear to me that a lot of people are not appreciated enough i think for their work but uh, I'm, I'm sure we can come up with with something, you know, maybe we can crowdfund a uh, Scoblivian party and, you know, fly everyone in somehow, as Bethesda nicely. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Also, about people that don't get enough recognition, uh, Jetka is in the chats on Twitch as well. Like, he's, he's the person currently working on the main quest, which has been a huge undertaking, not just because it's the main quest, but also in the way it's made originally and the way it's structured is a, it's a very complicated uh set of sequences mixed with mixed with how the main quest uh because we use our automated conversion tool to port it over to uh skyrim the the way everything is handled in skyrim the way the main quest was converted uh it, it's not an understatement to say it would have been an absolute nightmare to untangle that and yeah. get it all working in Skyrim systems. Um, I think we're going to start this quest and then we can like move on while we keep chatting because otherwise you know, we'll fill the entire yeah, segment I'll, with just uh, yeah. us blabbering. Um, I'll uh, shut up for a minute. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's roll the quest and take it from there. Oh, also, uh, I, I did prepare a little bit. So uh, you need Cyrodelic Brandy, which, I mean, Marron, look at that. What a beautiful little bottle for uh for this item um we uh, we need to offer him uh, a bottle of brandy to to start the quest so that's what we're gonna do and we'll take it from there
Another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drab existence. I would have you perform a service for me. The castle, Leowin, is a dull, dreary place. The mistress is an especially somber soul, and tomorrow she will hold another excruciating dinner party. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the Countess and her guests. I think it will make the party much more interesting. I can tell. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Have fun. That sounds completely reasonable. <laughs> Alright. One of the reasons that we, we were... Uh, the, the whole charity event, it, it kind of... Um, it, it popped up a little bit abruptly. Um, and we, we weren't as well prepared as we maybe should have been in hindsight. Uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. But we were talking about, okay, so what, what quests could we feature? What can we show that we haven't shown before? Um, and this one is actually pretty interesting for, for a lot of reasons. Like it uses interesting mechanics. Um, and we have another uh, quest after this that takes place in Bruma. But having having play tested it a bit, and that's another that's that's a, a, ma a major part of Skyblivion that we're currently completely overlooking, it's play testing. Um, I have had a call with Fishfiend here in the chat. Um, as I was testing these quests, as I was going through the regions, running into small bugs and issues, and we were fixing them along the way, this is a process that realistically we're going to get into in like hopefully half a year, something around uh, around that time when we're uh, you know trying to polish up these quests for for the remaster. It's it's a process that we got like a first hand experience with. Uh, ahead of schedule because we wanted to prepare for this event and there's all these like little bugs that we run into or for instance with the fingers of the mountain because that's a, a location a quest we want to feature for the new developer diary you look at this quest location and you just realize that it's way too mundane um it's it's like a faithful recreation of what it was in oblivion but it took me an hour to turn the fingers of the mountain into a very unique and pretty recognizable and, and memorable area in the game. Um, and that's that's going to be part of what the, the next year, year and a half is going to be for, for all of us on the team. And uh, I'm <laughs> I'm equally scared as I am super, super excited about seeing how that's going to work. Especially because there's there's going to be like multiple departments that can work together on making these uh, these areas really cool. And I just, I can't help myself, but I got to quickly pop by Skingrad. Just really quick. It's it's probably one of the real highlights of the, uh, working on this project for me is uh, internally we have this thing called the online office. It's just a voice chat on Discord. Yeah, We all sit together and we work on the project together. And some of my fondest memories are just sitting there talking with other developers and bouncing off each other. It really encourages the creativity. And mm -hmm. the further into the project we get, uh, the more I feel like we're going to be able to bounce off each other. Yeah, for sure. We because currently we kind of, you know, I'll be sitting in the office and two people will be bouncing off each other and then they'll go, well, we need to wait for uh, an example would be, uh, let's say, the tile set for the Imperial City to be finished before we can do that. Yeah, um, yeah. Once once we have all like our tile sets, uh, the, the things that I, the uh, creativity that's going to come out of... Uh, just the collaboration between departments is going to be amazing. It is. Although I have to say, like, my my perspective on these things is sometimes a little bit different. Um, because I, I feel like for, for people who, especially who joined the project recently, you know, it's, it's, it's all fun and games and there's all these avenues to get real creative and uh, he'll, like, go over the top with your ideas. And sometimes I'm, I'm in the online office. My my main role for the project is to get it released, and uh, this is like it, it to, to an extent. This is you know a common goal that we're all working on together. 
But you can imagine that sometimes when I'm in the online office and you guys are bouncing ideas of each other, I'm kind of like biting my lip as I hear the the scope of the ideas increase in size every five minutes that the conversation goes on to the point where this really small quest location gets turned into, I don't know, some kind of fucked up haunted mansion where you're being followed around by uh, a, a ghost that every time you turn around vanishes or other crazy ideas that t sound really cool, but... It, the only thing I can worry about at that point is, oh my god, how is this going to impact, like, the next two weeks? Like, this person, instead of working on this new dungeon that hasn't been worked on at all, they're going to be trying to revamp this one dungeon that, admittedly, it sounds kind of cool, but it's not really that important. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, uh, this is the... <laughs> oh, the, the, the lords, yeah. So that, that's another thing, as, as the... Um, as the... Uh, T-L-L. Uh, T-L-L. As the, as the map gets worked on, uh, it's like clay. Sometimes we take a chip away, sometimes we add a bit, um, and it makes for uh, a map that is a bit... Uh... Basically, this is the old map. This is the map from, I don't know, like half a year ago, and apparently the, the landscape around here was higher. Now we made it lower, probably to make the bridge more imposing towards Skingrad. Uh, and it's just one of the many things that we're just running into as we go and hopefully on like the one point over release all that is It's ironed out and it's it's polished and perfect um, There Someone asking about uh, Plans after full release. I mean the immediate answer to that is going to be bug fixing I'd, I'd love to say it'll be released and it'll be done, but there will at least be a few of us that'll be just putting out fires everywhere. Um, yeah. And a, a, another handful of us that will be uh, working on DLC. Uh, the dead DLC. Yeah. Um, I, I truly expect it won't take long after release. We'll probably be able to do all of like, the smaller house DLCs in a pretty short time frame mm -hmm. after release. Yeah, and there's also, there's there's some ideas that people have that they want to put in a game that I'm trying to encourage them to basically pin it for like a post-release update. So I'm, I'm sure that once the 1.0 release is out, um, I'm going to have a good few people like knocking on my door saying, well, we made it to like the 1.0 release. So about that idea I had and I wanted to do, you said we'd pin it until the release and we're there now. So how can we make it happen? I think there's going to be like a lot of really cool uh, updates to the main game as well shortly after the release um, as well as hopefully like new people will join the project. I think uh, the for for Skyblivian to release it's going to be like a pretty a pretty huge event I think in the, in the gaming world and especially like if if we can be a bit specific to our own community like within the Bethesda game studios community i think this is going to be a pretty major uh event which will hopefully get a lot of like new fresh eyes on the project and people that maybe haven't heard about it before or maybe heard about it years ago and didn't think it would happen can now see you know it actually happened and maybe hopefully wonder how they can contribute how they can uh help because i mean the one point over release is in a way it's only just the beginning you know, there's a lot more that uh, needs to be done after. Uh, both, as you say, in terms of bug fixing, as well as uh, additional content that Bethesda made after the release of the game. And, and, and of course, you know, like any other BGS game, they, we I hope to see Sky Oblivion have a second life through uh, community-made mods, you know. Once it oh, releases, yeah. the... I. Cannot wait to see community modders get their hands on it and just expand our work into, you know, uh, their idealized form. Because, I mean, I, I, I love Skyrim, but the biggest appeal to Skyrim to me is always going to be I can make Skyrim essentially exactly the game I want yeah. it to be through mods. Yeah, it adds, it adds basically unlimited replayability as well, to an extent anyway. Like uh, I, I truly hope, and this is this is on what uh, like probably top of my wish list to see community mods. 
It's not something in the scope of the project, but I would love to see someone make like a, a fully fledged follower mod for Sky Oblivion. Yeah, that'd be great. Because uh, it's it's one area that that Oblivion really lacked, in my opinion, is followers with any personality. Most of your actual designated followers were uh, called like Dark Brotherhood Assassin or um, Mage's Guild Apprentice. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's one of those things like in, in an ideal world we would have been able to tackle that, but realistically. Like, how, how much of an impact would it have? How much time would we have to designate to making that happen versus what else do we have on our plate that we actually need, like, need for a 1.0 release? And unfortunately, with, with things like this, the conclusion is often that in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't that important. Um, and the game will still be very much fun and playable without it. Uh, and hopefully that is where mothers will come in and kind of like save our ass, make make the game better without us actually having to put in any work because we simply don't really have the, the bandwidth to make it happen ourselves. <laughs> I see Jad Guy in the Twitch chat defending the honor of the Dark Brotherhood assassin followers talking about how great, how great they are. He's not biased at all. He implemented them. Uh, I should go through, I should take this opportunity, haven't called out uh, the recent donations, which I think we've had a $25 donation from Wazzy Woy, no, Wazzy Was, uh, $25 donation from Anonymous, $25 donation from Hemzak, uh, uh and i feel like there's one more that i'm missing that's fantastic thank know. you everyone yeah we're, we're at uh we're at uh 1090 on the tiltify campaign alone yeah. and that's without even knowing how much the uh, youtube stream has raised already um lay it on me how much I, I i don't think i can see that can i i think I think you're the only one that can see how much of the YouTube stream is. Oh shit! Goes. Really? Okay. Well, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Allow me. That's okay. Oh, the big reveal. Oh wait, someone's saying three hundred and two. Maybe you can yeah, see I'm, it somewhere. I'm I'm seeing three hundred two as well. That's incredible. So we're at quick maths, thirteen hundred and ninety two. Uh, yeah. That is uh, it's incredible. Thank you everyone for uh, for the support. It's been it's been something that I've been I've been wanting to do like a charity event for so long because a lot of the time when when you stream or when there's a new video released, um, people often ask like, oh, can I donate to the project? Can I like I, I I don't have any skills, but I have money, and it's I always appreciate people saying that, but there's no there's there's no such avenue to to help out. So. In doing an event like this, we're able to use the project to actually get those those donations that people have been trying to like push our way and use them for something uh, really good. So thank you all who uh, who are keeping their promise and are now donating to uh, to this wonderful charity together with all the other uh, projects that are uh, working on this at the moment. Also, sorry, can I just quickly say? Um, this, this little plant, fennel, we've been struggling so much with getting plants into our game. And this, it looks lo it, perfect. It's so nice. It's so satisfying to be able to pick the plant and actually vanishing and it looking as good as it does. It's a little things like, I, I don't think people on like who are watching this right now realize how big this is for me because I've been on the project for 10 years and it's only been like in the last year that I've seen some of these plans properly implemented. We, we, we've had some mushrooms before, but we're, we're struggling with plans. We have been struggling with plans for eternity. But finally, finally, some of them are, are being worked on and, and properly put into the game. This is the second time I've tried to paste the... Uh the Tiltify link in the 
YouTube chat and I've pasted whatever other thing I've copy and pasted. So I just put Sanguine Shrine Exterior in the YouTube chat for someone to read. As long as it's nothing not safe for work, I'm I'm okay with it. No, 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 nothing, nothing to worry about. Just you know, like I was going to send you the Sanguine Shrine location to teleport to. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, and I just pasted that in the chat. Here, follow this link. By the way, I'm not sure how many people are watching on YouTube, but we have over 350 people watching on Twitch right now, which is uh, pretty cool. So thank you everyone for uh, tuning in. Thank you for the follows as well on Twitch. And if you happen to be watching on Twitch, please do look at the stream team, the adventurers, um, because there's currently, I think, two more people live streaming as we speak. It's Roy working on the Imperial armor. And I could have sworn that there's someone else as well. Oh, here's another little cool thing. Um, we've had iron weapons in the game for five, six years, probably. In in the original Oblivion, there were rusty iron weapons, which were based, they, they looked the exact same. I don't even remember who did this, but very recently someone simply took the mesh, added like a little bit of a rust to it, and Bob's your uncle, and it's it's small stuff like this, which just it makes me so happy to see this this kind of thing finally in the game. I know it's silly, and it's it's probably just because I've been here for so long, but to see this stuff making it into the game, it's so it's so satisfying. It's and it's it's little details like that where we can just improve the project in little ways, and they just it adds so much. For, yeah, uh, people and looking, and what what also especially makes me happy is that these are the the little things that take I, w I wouldn't say they they take no time and effort, but they take very little time and effort to to accomplish. You know, it's small things that, as as I you know, I, I can I can already say like you you will, as a player you probably won't even notice, um, because it makes it makes sense, but it it adds it adds to the immersion, which is kind of like what these games are very much known for um which i think is just fantastic uh i've just seen in uh from ken the guy who runs the who's organized all of this uh c3 streaming event yeah he has uh just posted that apparently we've reached the uh c3 streaming uh, charity goal uh, we're only five hours into day one of C3, and we've already reached the goal we set for ourselves. Hell yeah. So thank you so much to everyone who's donated. I just see Ayla has donated 25 US dollars, and I believe I've missed more, sorry. I don't have sound on for the stream for obvious um, reasons. Um, I think Zauberling, did, did we... Hey, and Le Legit Rob as well. Legit Rob, that was the other one that I missed. Legit Rob is one of mine. One of my boys. One of your uh, Twitch stream regulars? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bok120, thank you for another $10. Yeah, it's Kadoosh. You know, off the top of your head, how many, um, how many plants we have left? Because I know it's one thing that is, has been uh, slow to prog uh, slow to develop, like it's uh, a very niche <laughs> skill set getting someone to make a plant. But uh... yeah, um, I think I think currently we have like twenty five plants left. Um, like p plants in general, like I'm I'm not too worried about plants because they're relatively simple to make. It's just that the people that we currently have that could make them they are busy doing other stuff and we can't really uh afford to put them on something small like um like plants like an, an actual department that um we could really use some fresh blood in um is well f first of all i won't say no to another plant artist so if anyone is watching this who has uh, experience making plants we need you um we'd love to have you um but i feel like maybe even more importantly uh, people that are uh, skilled at making clothing um, would also be very much uh, appreciated and, and very very welcome to uh, to join the project because um, we currently we do have I think like 
12 clothing sets left and it doesn't sound like a lot but a piece of clothing like you can see the, the double doublet i don't know how you pronounce that that i'm wearing now it looks beautiful but it's pretty it's pretty intricate same as the the, the weapons and armors that we have in the game it's it's a completely different set of skills compared to making a rock or a cup um, both things we very much need um, but one just takes a hell of a lot more time than the other Oh, I see a wisp. The will of the wisp. It's it, it's so interesting. Uh, just seeing seeing the uh, walker walkthrough we're doing right now. Compare all of the creatures to how they were when I first joined the project. You know, like we yeah. have our flying imps, um, which when I first joined the project, uh, imps were. Flying disembodied Argonian heads yeah. that just Good shot times. fire out of thin air, and uh, I think there was an intermediate uh, period there where imps were using a placeholder model, and they would mine ore veins if you put them in the same dungeon as a, or they would use furniture, uh, leading to some hilarious interactions where you'd see an imp holding a pickaxe digging, yeah, yeah, or. <laughs> The uh, little improvements in, in just so many areas. So cool to see. Look, I, th I think we failed as a project if we don't include at least one floating Argonian head somewhere in the build and just call it an imp and see if anyone notices. <laughs> Very important. When, uh, when doing a final pass, we need to take out these pillars I just noticed. Looking at D. What's wrong with the pillars? Um, so <clears throat> this oh, is oh, this that is a, pillar, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting tidbit that um, one of the the biggest blockers in a project like this is 3D assets. Like you have to wait for 3D assets to get made before you can work on an area. So what we did is we ported all the stuff from Oblivion and just started replacing things as we go. But for instance, the the fort set that we're using to make all of these beautiful fort locations and we use for castles as well. It's so extensive that we we don't need any of the the bits and pieces that Oblivion had. So, for instance, here you can see how the landscaper originally, like he maybe I'm, I'm just interpreting, he started off with the location using the ported assets, then did a finalizing pass with the new assets we made. Uh, but we've always told people that you can use whatever you want; it's going to get remade anyway. This thing, it's not going to get remade anymore, so it needs to be replaced with something from this set instead. Uh, but it's little bits and bobs that are still remaining as of now but when like 1.0 hits and we don't catch it this statue will be floating and there will be nothing underneath it um but it's it's again it's like an interesting part of development that we're in now that we can see this kind of stuff um as well as i remember i remember the first time i streamed like a gameplay segment um to show off skyblivian and i started out at the imperial sewers and i think at that time the only thing in that area that was replaced with new assets were a few bushes and like a sack the the, the sacks that contain a little bit of loot everything else was still ported and now um if i go to that area there's nothing anymore that is from the original oblivion like all the assets have been remade since then which it again it, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal but if you've been here for 10 years and you've seen how slowly the project has developed in some years and how much we struggled to get to where we are now going like thinking back about that point in time it is it is quite a trip it is really exceptional and it's it's honestly it's extraordinary and pretty much like i i i have to be honest in in 2013 i didn't think that skyblivion would be what it is now i thought the best we could do was port everything from oblivion and leave it at that um, which clearly, like, even that was way more complicated than we ever thought um, it would be. Um, but to be where we are now at this point, and to be so close to, like, a releasable game, and as you can see, like, we're, we're playing through and we're walking through the area. There's there's no more there's no more floating, uh, floating forests. There's no more purple hills. Um, people are mostly clothed, which, again, doesn't sound like a big deal, but trust me, it is. Um... It's, uh, 
it's it's a bit unreal. Um, we should probably start doing uh, one of the quests. We've only got uh, fifty-five minutes left. Oh shoot! All right, well, <laughs> I'll I'll sprint. We're we're, we're close to Lewin now, and then we'll we'll go right right over to Umbra or to to Bruma. Um, as well as, um, I kind of intended for this anyway, but um, I know we only have a two-hour segment for this stream. What I was thinking we will do is um, we're going to be, like, when when uh, our segment has ended, we're going to raid uh, the chat. Oh, no, not Chad. Uh, I have to raid someone else. I forgot who it is. C3? Uh, for I have to raid. I believe. Yeah. So I'll, I'll raid them on Twitch. Um, and on YouTube, we can just keep it going for a little bit longer because um, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about and we might want to show off as well. Because um, I honestly don't know if 45 minutes is going to be enough, but we'll, we'll see. Starting random WE event, starting a road event. Do you know what that is? Or is that uh, is are those the, the new... Random events that are supposed to be uh, yeah, happening. Yeah, that's the, the new random encounter system. Yeah, oh, cool. I'm guessing, guessing, uh, guessing that we've left uh, that notification enabled. Although, I don't see anything unless maybe it just spawned some animals. But yeah, that's uh, that's a good segue into something that we're currently working on is uh, random encounters. Uh, something that I think added a lot of life to Skyrim. Um, we're, we're adding random encounters to Sky Oblivion and not all of them will be uh, anything particularly complicated. Most of them will be your basic things, uh, maybe a, a wolf chasing a, uh, a rabbit or uh, a deer. But they're, they're just little things that randomize oh actually never mind this is the random encounter it seems like we've uh, stumbled upon uh so we've got a scavenger who's come along and looted the corpses of some imperial legion soldiers and some bandits who've had a fight he left some good stuff yeah. though And uh, actually, another decent segue there is is you can see the armor we've got at the moment for the Imperial Legion is by uh, uh, oh, Nordwar UA. Yeah. Um, and and it is fantastic armor, but we are making our own version, and I do believe the developer making that is uh, currently live on Twitch, is, uh, yeah. working on it as we speak. Unplayable, by the way. This game. I fixed those when we worked on the Mazoga video. <laughs> Why are did they you, back? Did you, did you submit your changes? No, the, the, the plugin I made for the Mazoga video is chaotic, to say the least. Right. I probably should have mentioned that to someone. All right, entering Lewin um, through the back entrance. I see someone tagged me. Uh, any news about dynamic conversations between NPCs? Funnily enough, that is something that is trickier to implement in Skyrim than you would think, considering how easily it was done in Oblivion. Um, I'm not the one working on it, though. Uh, you'd have to talk to... Uh, I believe the last person looking into it was Jadkai, a quest lead. I could be wrong, though. Uh, but yeah, currently they don't really function in the build. But we do have, uh, we do have something that Oblivion didn't have, or well, something Oblivion had accounted for but didn't actually use is idle dialogue from a lot of NPCs. You will hear NPCs say stuff in Sky Oblivion that I never. I've played. I've got thousands of hours in um, in Oblivion, and I've never heard um them say you know like guards will say things like i'm so hungry i could eat a bosma or uh random comments like that things that they just never said in oblivion no that because of skyrim's idle dialogue system you can hear now i've uh, <laughs> finally made my way to uh to 
to lay one, by the way. All right, let me let me prepare properly because I I know I know this part already. Let me let me don my proper attire, fit for a a party. I think I need something to drink. That was the strange. Hold on. There's a dinner ready. party here tonight. No one gets into the room until it's prepared. And no one gets in the room even after it's prepared unless they're on the list. And even if they're on the list, they'd better be dressed for it. This is important to the Countess, and no one is going to muck it up. Got it? So this is one of those quests that, or like areas that I'm quite looking forward to because uh, right now, I have to be honest, like the quest is a bit janky. The the castle, it's still, it's in pretty rough shape. It needs a lot of work. Um, also, I, I need to wait because uh, the party starts after 6 p.m. So that's my bad. Uh, so let's wait until, I don't know, 7, I guess. Um, doesn't seem like, uh, what's her name, Jer? Alessia. Oh, you might have to wait one more hour. There's a weird bug at the moment with, uh, AI won't update its position until you wait one hour. Oh. It updated, she moved oh. slightly. <laughs> she should be at her dinner party. Uh, oh. Maybe maybe my nav um, mesh was uh, was Borg. So let me see. Move to player. No, she, I think she's pretty content where she is. Right. I don't know what's causing that. That's weird. We we tested this the other day, and she yeah, it, it went in there. <laughs> this is this is what game development is like. This was what I was trying to say. Like we're we're, we're testing stuff now. We're running into issues. Um, and then we we tested it. It seemed to be working, and now it doesn't. What are you doing here? You don't it's okay. We can just uh, teleport her in there. That's definitely how it's meant to work. Yeah. This is a classy event. I don't know you. I don't like you. Wait, I'm not dressed for it <laughs> now. Anyway. <laughs> I swear. Every, Wait, everything okay. happening right now has played out exactly the opposite to how yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let, let me let me let me try this way. I don't know who you are, and I'm not all that sure about you. But you're oh, he's gonna say it. Yeah. Oh. I think we might have our conditions backwards for the uh, <laughs> being dressed for the dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you Worst. say that, but I mean, if I was going to a fancy party, I I would love. If I was rich, I think I I. I would probably own like a full suit of armor and 100% be happy about attending a party wearing it. So maybe this is more realistic than we realize. There we go. All right, for, for all counts and purposes, I'm just going to move the count here. Um, because for the Sanguine Quest, we, we got uh, a spell, uh, which is the spell of Stark Reality, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And it's sure to cause some chaos. Uh, Roy, thank you very much for the raid. We were just talking about you. Um, so basically what's going to happen is we're going to cast a spell and then run for our lives. Because uh, something's going to happen that, uh, well... Everyone's naked! Including us! <laughs> Leg it! Oh, oh damn it! I I didn't get all the party guests. Well, that's <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> mission mission failed successfully. <laughs> I got the count. That's all that matters. All right. Luckily, uh, there there's no nav mesh yet, so the guards are not following me, and um, we can go to to Bruma for for our next quest. Which uh, I guess we're doing naked now. <laughs> yeah, there's no other choice. <laughs> Um, should I just go straight to Bruma or maybe walk from Chainall over to the Bruma area? What do you think? Uh, how long have we... Uh, it's a pretty short quest. Uh, I think you can afford to walk from Chainall. Where am I? Chainall is still currently work in progress, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> As you see a guard fl flopping from the air, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is the city I'm currently working on. <laughs> I've, I've I watched myself in. very well. 
I'm quite I'm quite excited about it. I I'm I've been uh, I've been enjoying working on the area. Uh, I'm gonna go in like a one week uh, break and then uh, I'll be uh, I'll be back. It's gonna be good. Uh, also, yeah, I'm still naked. I'm seeing okay, a lot of compression can... on the stream because of the the foggy the darkness. Fog. Yeah. Talking about uh, like Roy, who just uh, raided us. Roy actually worked on the Iron Armor, which is unironically maybe one of my f favorite armors in the game, because it looks so like bulky and cheap, but still like sturdy and usable. Like I just I love the way it looks. It's really good. I just I for, I kind of forgot what kind of state I left this area in. Um, <laughs> But I mean, this this is exactly why these streams are cool, you know, because this is what game development is. This area of the of the map is completely broken and is being put together at the moment. I've had I, I've had the vision for a windmill overlooking Chainall for so long. I'm so happy I could finally do it. I also need to put a marker at Bruma, otherwise I don't know where I'm gonna go. And I think the area around Chadenhall is one of the last bits of landscaping we have to do, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Because I uh, is D done with the Nibbin Valley Basin? Uh, close to, but I think he said he was kind of like fed up with it. Um, He's taking a taking a break. Yeah, so I was thinking I I'll do uh, maybe the rest of the Nibbin uh, so that he can focus on the the 3d architecture and then the deadlands as well because i th i think i'll have a lot more fun actually working on those areas and then i can kind of like like i feel, I feel like as, as soon as i get a a good start on just like the, the the forest wilderness i can get through this area pretty quickly um i noticed you just you just happen to walk past desolate mine yeah. um one of those uh, kind of a good example of what you were talking about before with with cloud top and and how you realize it's a quest location and it probably needs a bit more flair uh, actually had a very similar thing with uh, Brian one of our one of our well our interior QA lead um, yeah. he he was talking to me about like the importance of quest locations and specifically like the we're working on the fighters guild he's working on the fighters guild ones at the moment and uh he went through and revamped uh desolate mine because it's a it's a fighters guild quest you go there the mine's been sieged by goblins oh you have uh, to deliver through, like weapons right yeah you Is deliver weapons one? to yeah. deliver weapons to the uh fighters guild members there and you kind of go in and, and clear the mine of these goblins uh, the recent work he's done on Desolate Mine, from what I've seen, is awesome. Yeah, it's, and I, it's great. I, I've only I've only seen a few work in progress pieces, but it, uh, and you know, he was able to communicate with me about uh, potentially changing the number of uh, goblins for the remaster. So you know, it's it's a one to one number for uh, one to one in the port version of uh, Sky Oblivion. But in the remaster, I was able to just essentially change the number of goblins that spawned uh, and how many goblins the quest accommodates for. And um, it was just instantly such a... Uh, felt more grand, you know, rather than fighting, I think it was eight goblins in the original Oblivion. <laughs> and he needs to work on his aim. Yeah. It's not quite right. Uh, I see a question about wandering NPCs in cities Finally. to feel them. Sorry to interrupt uh, you. I, I was trying to get the M because one of the cool things about this is um, oh, and he's gone. What's the shield called again? Spellbreaker. Uh, we we have like a, a custom uh, unique enchantment so that if you get hit by magic, it bounces back. So what I really wanted that M to do is just shoot a fireball at me when I was prepared to bounce it back. And then, of course, when I got too close, he, he, he stopped using it, but I, I got him in the end. So, sorry for the interruption. Just wanted to yeah, let people know I was just, like, blindly staring at the guy instead of actually doing anything. 
I do also, I should go through, there were a couple of donations, including a massive one from Ooh. Tom V, who donated 100 euros uh, oh, on damn. YouTube. It's like $110 uh, or something. I believe there was another $10, $10 donation from a random Italian in Scotland. A random? Now, is that a description of the person or is that his name? Uh, I assume it's both, but uh, it was their <laughs> YouTube name. Okay. okay. <laughs> it, it, it'd be it'd be quite funny if uh, you know they didn't fit that description. I'd appreciate it even more if that's the case. Uh, I'll check. I haven't seen if there's uh, any questions attached to any of the new donations. Oh, uh, we also have. Uh, uh, Henstra Menzik with ten dollars, Dorgus with ten dollars, Bok one twenty with ten dollars, and possibly Ayla with twenty five. I think I already mentioned Ayla. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you, everyone. How much? Sure. How much uh, are we uh, in total at the moment? I'm still not sure where people are seeing the fundraiser amount on uh, the YouTube channel, but on uh, on Tiltify, we're at uh, eleven uh, one thousand one hundred and ninety-five dollars. Well, that's great. Also, wait, let me let me check. I'm I, I think we have we have stars here. Come on. Damn it! Am I Your tripping? Have they been taken out of the game somehow? They could have been overwritten. I I wasn't aware that we had stars put in though. Okay. But I also wasn't aware that they were missing, so shows that I didn't notice that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Did you see that that goofy deer? That's great. Oh, it's neck. Yeah. Oh god. I, I don't think he, be no. he believed his eyes that I died because I, I I walked out to him slowly, draw my swords. You know, <laughs> I think I think he was uh, seeing his life flash before his eyes, and then he uh, he got lucky, and I kept moving, kept walking. Oh, someone just said in. Uh... In the YouTube chat, sixteen hundred and fifty-four dollars total. Sixteen hundreds, nice. I'm getting snow blindness from this place. Vibrant, to say the least. But uh, this is this is a place where we can show off the you know, we didn't necessarily have to create all the assets in this uh, project, you know, we were able to uh, utilize quite a lot of stuff from Skyrim for the Bruma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it the Valus Mountains? Uh, the Gerald's no. Mountains. The Gerald, and then sorry, the, the yeah. Valus is to the right. It's over there. You know, like this is... Uh, this this could be a location in Skyrim, honestly, like... Uh, yeah, currently what's not doing it. it any favors though is because of the, the very old distant terrain, like it looks so drab and grey. But as you can see, like when you get close to like the new areas, like the new design, like it, it's nice and white and and snowy. Um so that's that's still something that we need to generate LOD to like properly show off the area. Cause we we had a we have um like satellite maps made every once in a while to show like internally the the progress of the map and you can see that the most recent map compared to the one before um like the Gerald Mounts the area we're, we're in now was just like very depressing and gray and now it's you know beautiful pristine and mostly uh like covered in in white snow which is looking uh which is looking very nice uh Bromora I saw with a ten dollar donation thank you very much and Belljack95 with the $25. Damn 
Actually, wait Hello, a minute. Oh. What if I use this spell on an enemy? No, they keep their clothes. That is bullshit. Thank you, Sanguine, for nothing. Uh, I think it specifically removes clothing. So it doesn't uh, unequip armor. Supposed to be impressed? Dude, we'll be kind of funny if it did. <laughs> How much time Will do we have this... left, by the way? Uh, 33 minutes. Okay, that's good. Dude, I need a bathroom well... break so bad. The exact well, same thing before this this stream. Like I drink so much, and then like half an hour in, I'm just I'm squeezing. Actually, I say 33 minutes. I don't believe Fallout London's stream is starting until uh, quarter past, so uh, 45 minutes. Oh great! But probably okay, well, start wrapping up in the next 35 or so, I guess. There's a chance that like. In the next 50 minutes, I might just step away for like five minutes. Because I don't want to piss myself on stream. Done that before, never again. Only once. Only once. Uh, I don't know if Fallout London regularly streams. I'm just replying to a comment I see in the in the chat. Uh, I don't know if Fallout London regularly streams, but they are participating in C3. Okay, gotcha. I I. I, I <laughs> I see the people in the chat going crazy. I didn't actually piss myself that one time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so it was a it was a joke. All right, but Dutch people we, we were not known for for good humor. So all right, there she is, beautiful Bruma. Yeah, I think I'm 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 getting some good advice from the chat though. It's not healthy to hold it in for a long time. So I'm gonna leave you with this beautiful view of Bruma. I'm gonna ju jump out for uh, for a few minutes, take care of business, and then I'll be back. Well, I will sit here and uh, keep the troops entertained. You got this. Uh, yep, yep. Anyone has any questions? Now is the time to ask because I'm looking at nothing but the chat. <laughs> so, so many messages on uh, on YouTube are. Uh, being censored because they're talking about Carl needing to piss. <laughs> um, I see Fallen, the developer of our incredible UI and so many amazing systems that we've recently added, is in the Twitch chat. So hi, Fallen. Uh, we've been singing your praises um, and very excited to show off your work uh, in, in the next developer diary, but we've been keeping it contained here, haven't shown off anything. So, uh, I see another question about, uh, can we expect more frequent streams as development begins to wrap up? Honestly, the answer to that might be the opposite of what you think. You might see less streams um, as development begins to wrap up because we'll probably be grinding pretty hard. As fun as it is to stream, um, it is... It takes quite a lot of uh, resources and focus to make a, a stream. You know, uh, instead of doing broad development, we focus on specific things. Uh, so, as we as we get towards the end, you, you might start seeing slightly less, um, slightly less streaming, uh, especially uh, as as. Uh, Jadkai, the quest department lead, just said in the Twitch chat, for a quest developer, streaming makes you work at about 10% of the speed. You, It is so distracting working on quests, trying to code, and and, uh, <sighs> and lots of little things you need to keep track of. Oh, he's back. I just... <laughs> I just moaned <laughs> way too loud into the mic, I think. <laughs> he's back or he's made it to the bathroom. One of the two. Yeah, I just have popped down. Any, have there been any happy accidents in development? Something that just came together without fully meaning to? Huh. I, I think you, 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 you describe like the average day of working on the project, really. Like, <laughs> I feel like in level design that happens every time you work on a location. You go in with a certain idea or maybe you go in with, oh, I'm going to make something just really generic and quick. 
And then out of nowhere, you know, inspiration hits and, you know, one happy little accident later, you've made like a very cool dungeon. Um, I really hope to see more of those happy little accidents with uh, quests on the remaster, for instance. I think it's going to be very cool. Uh, oh, remind me, what's what's the correct order for me to do this in? Am I going to go to the count first? Oh, or Look, no, you, you say this every time. The count isn't involved in this quest at all. Well, you, you uh, can... Go, you, go to, no, you listen. Go you, to the you, murder house. But you, you can go to the count, um, ask about the topic, and then she will send you to the murder house. Will she? Yeah. I, I worked on this quest and I don't remember that. <laughs> well, I play tested it and I remember <laughs> I remember the sequence. Um, I think, I think anyone in the city, anyone in the city uh, will. Oh. You should just be able to, uh, what's your bounty actually? <laughs> Might have to reload a save here. I don't know how this quest is going to go if you're in trouble with the Bruma Guard. It's fine. We're just not going to talk to the guards. Just like walk past them, don't talk to them. <laughs> oh crap, the main guy you talk to is oh, a guard. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, we right. consider testing these two quests together. I did not. Okay, fine. Well, I'll I'll fast travel from. Well, is this if, if you just pay, the... got in trouble. Well, you can you could probably just pay the fine. I think that'll work. Yeah, you should have said so twenty seconds ago. I got a bit of a delay. I can't see exactly what's happening live. Oh, something that was literally fixed today was the snow shader, which has been broken for like five years. You, you can see it because it looks normal, but it used to look not normal. Snow didn't look like snow. Well, in the in certain lights, it didn't anyway. Couldn't you use console commands to remove the bounty? I could have done a lot of things better. <laughs> but that, that's hindsight uh, for you. You don't know the mistakes I you're gonna make until you make them. Could have could have removed the uh, bounty with console commands, but you have to know the name of the crime faction. And off the top of my head, I don't. Uh, and I've got three chats open and a charity page open, so I uh, probably wouldn't have been able to look it up very comfortably. Why are there two chickens? <laughs> I've not seen those before. <laughs> That is uh, also, new. Why are we going to the camp? Because <laughs> I, I wanted to test. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Nope. Not a bad way to make some money. Lady Marina Covey, Countess Bruma. I was at Olabs earlier, and I ran into this ah. man named Raynil Dralis. Oh. After a round or two, he told me he was an honest to good. Yeah, so now you can ask anyone about uh, Raynil Dralis. Yeah. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures and Raynil slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Braden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such a likable fellow. Farewell. Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess we were both right. You can technically talk to the countess about, talk it, to yes. the about it, yeah. Kind of oh. want that. It's unique. Oh, the texture is beautiful on that shield. Yeah. I've not se I've not seen our blades armor in game before. That it looks really nice. Actually, so that's a that's a unique shield because it's broken. It's like an artifact from ye oh. olden times, and it's using a custom cube map. So the the regular blades armor is using like a a greenish glass uh, in the center, and this one is blue. Also, I saw a ten dollar donation. 
And a $15 yeah. donation from Frotty as well. Thank you very much, Frotty. Fru Fruity? Fruity? Double O. F R double O T E. Froaty. Froaty. Alright. Wait, was Gellamorn a dialogue option there? You're going uh, to leave. Oh my god. Shouldn't have been. <laughs> this is uh oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> Maybe just uh <laughs> Oh, you know what I also just realized? I prepared for this, but now I uh, I forgot. Because uh, I, I have a potion of personality uh, for 30 seconds, and didn't I have a spell? I should have. Yeah. Did you, you didn't grab you didn't grab the spell, huh? Yes, I Unless did. You I did ahead of time. Did. Sorry. <laughs> Protect and serve. It's what we do. So one more bribe should be enough. And thank you very much. Uh, no, you did, the spell should have been enough alone for him. Oh. Well, I gave him all my gold as well. <laughs> Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Who was? If it wasn't for Rainiel Dravis, he may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. In the last week or so, we have found two bodies stashed in shallow graves. The music is a bit loud compared to the game. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Uh, Slovenian Gamer, thank you for the $20 donation. Thank you very much. How much do you think we will be able to get by the end of this stream? Like, we have 30 minutes left. Hmm. I think we might be... I think we might be able to hit 2k. I think that would be... That'd be nice. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true yeah. that... And also, I don't know if anyone noticed the our goal of uh, 2025 uh, for the subs of, sorry, for the uh, charity, you know, I thought that was a fun little detail, you know, our release year. Yeah, so the, if, if we don't meet $2,025 by the end of the night, then we're not going to be able to release that year. <laughs> because it shows that people don't care enough about the release. So if you if them into giving to charity, if if you want Scape Living to come out in 2025, and if you want your name to be remembered for all time, because your name will be on this stream and this stream will be up on YouTube forever and ever and ever, if you want to be a, become a piece of history, you have that chance. You have that option right now, right here tonight with us. You get a shout out and everything. And you'll be part of this project. And if you don't, you know, it's it's a one-time opportunity. I'm sorry. No take backs. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. I just remembered I worked in this location, actually. Um, and one thing I wanted to do with this location is to make it clear that this was a murder and not, for instance, a robbery, because I left some gold on the night stand, because I was like, oh yeah, if, if someone came in to steal, they would have taken the gold, so that makes sense. But the gold is still here, so this is definitely a murder. And there's also a little bit, little bit of like the chairs are falling over and stuff. But anyway. I can't believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband. Well, you could try and break the record for eating Thank the most hot know. dogs. I don't understand the significance of that comment, but we do have someone on the developer team. He that, loves uh, hot dogs. Yeah, he, he regularly posts pictures of him eating a new hot dog almost every week. Yeah. Also, this is one of the few pieces of clothing that hasn't been remade yet. So if anyone's watching who is experienced in making clothing, you could be the person that replaces this. This lovely lower class garment. You can see she has very nice new kicks. Those shoes are remade. The clothes are not. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. 
Uh, that 30 in the middle of the screen would be current disposition. Still something we have to work into the new UI, right? Yeah, yeah. Currently that's kind of uh, just there for testing purposes. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify Someone says, can you look at the shoes again? Uh, Eric, thank you for the $25 donation to make a wish. Hell yeah, Eric. Thank you, dude. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill. And after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guard sent for Carriers, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carriers Go feet. that Brayden was a vampire. <laughs> well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. That's a good point. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of... Uh, the Outsider, thank you for the $20 donation. Well, of course, oh, 20 the euro case. donation. He works at night Who? and has to sleep during the day. The Outsider. The Outsider. Vampire? Thank you very it's much. It's that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. We'll see what we can do. <clears throat> uh, Ooh, Ryan. 50 buckaroos. Ten, ten carist. Funny you say that. Tanger has just donated 50, and Ryan Comer... Common Neric donated 50 as well. Sweet. Is that to the YouTube thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what we just had two fifty dollar donations at once. This is a, this is a nightmare to, to calculate together. Because we're... Oh, We've Legit got... Rob! Got another 50. Oh, thank you so much, Legit Rob. Uh, Camille the Calculator uh, had us at 1757. Uh, um... Now, 1857, and I'm guessing it's going to go up. Oh, what is a knock? Is that Norwegian yeah. something? Crowns. A uh, hundred knock. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but thank you very much. Isn't, isn't that like one dollar? Or is that Swedish crowns? Uh, I think a hundred uh, Swedish crowns is like ten ten dollars. Uh, that is nine dollars forty. Thank you so much for the donation. Very much appreciated. And another one hundred, dude. Another one hundred just came in. Bye. You guys are amazing. Sen, dude, I'm having real trouble reading it. I can't read it on my second screen. You have to do it. Uh, Sonador Cromwell. Sonador, thank you very much, my friend. And Camo um, Freak. I see the a question in the chat. Did the interview go as you wanted by a very special person? Because um, we, we interviewed Bethesda devs uh, just before today's, uh, or b before this stream, which was great. We were able to talk about, you know, what developing Oblivion was like for them. Um, it went pretty well. My only regret is that it ended as quick as it did. Like we had how much, like an hour and a half and time just flew by. What can I do for you today? Um, I need another one of those. Also, give it up to Rebel for four hours of streaming, which is, uh, you know, a fair bit when you're, you're not particularly prepared for it. And, um, you know, we only found out we were interviewing the Bethesda devs uh, quite last minute. Yeah, that's really appreciate it. Especially just before you go on holiday. Uh, Daedric Prince, thank you for the $10 donation. Wait, were you talking about me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought we were talking about uh, some of the people that were streaming from our team. Oh, well, thank you to everyone. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't quite catch what you were saying because I was listening to the guy. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, that is appreciated. Skin them all. Uh, anonymous for the 20 USD. I think, uh, Mr. Calculator Man, who's, uh, yeah, Camille the Calculator, thank you very much. Um, 
we have just crossed 2025. Oh, yeah. 20, 2061. Celebration song. <laughs> what celebration song we play? Star. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one song worth playing. I actually can't play the whole thing because it gets copyright strike every time, even though I have permission. Also, I just noticed we have a little floating candle. Or at least a candle light. Just the flame. It's just, a, uh, just a magic light for the... Uh... Alright, we have to search his room for evidence. Yeah. So let's let's don our Sherlock Holmes cap and, and look around. Right, the bed looks neatly made, as neatly as it can get in this kind of room. The cheese seems innocent. The darkest darkness seems innocent. I don't know. A name like Darkest Darkness doesn't sound innocent. Me super I say. Innocent. <laughs> I have spoken. Hmm. But tucked between the cupboards and the wall is a journal. Eighth day has passed and still there's no sign of the artifact. We've covered most of the remainder of the outer guard tower and scoured the crumbled gatehouse ruins, but not one clue has arisen as to where it may have been buried. It's quiet out there, as if the ruins were paying respects to the alien inhabitants that disappeared here long ago. We haven't encountered anything hostile, but if we do, I think we're ready. The Brotherhood's been in worse scrapes before. Brayden paid good money for the information as to our treasure's whereabouts, and I hope it doesn't turn out to be yet another fiasco. Should I read the whole thing, or should we keep going? I honestly can't remember uh, how long it is. How, how oh many my god, okay, it's, <laughs> it's going yeah, on for I was going to say, I'm like, I, uh, I it's, a, it's, a, it's a novel. Uh, um, Moral of the story, they found an amulet, and they... Each, each of us would hold a key to one of the locks so none, so none would have access to the artifact without the others being present. That, that, that's, a, that's a key takeaway. So you need, a, need, you need a bunch of keys. Everyone needs to be present with their keys. Okay. Actually, I need to take this. Uh, thank you, Ashvold and Anon, both for $25 donations. Today? And Alexis for the $10. Gellaborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishments. I realize as we play, we need to tweak the um, the the volume of um, the music in the game. So the music is quite loud compared to the dialogue. Do you have uh, Do you have your music turned up from normally when you're streaming landscapes? You probably don't care that much about dialogue. No, music is pretty low. I think huh. it's uh, it's the default. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to talk with the guard captain again. This is the only place in this quest I'm concerned about breaking because the, the countess didn't move. Now I'm paranoid that this guy isn't going to move. Well, I nav mashed it, mostly. <laughs> Alright, Carius. Oh! The body's gone. He got, he got hauled away. So, any new revelations in your <laughs> in investigation? How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Reno not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. Obviously. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What I love the unique armors we have for all the city guards. Vampire. Also done by Roy, by the way. I, I don't know what to say. 
I love, I love how aggressive you are in this quest. <clears throat> but you don't explain why you disagree initially. You just say, I disagree. You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been removed by Raynil from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed. And that I'm responsible I do love the facial expressions. I don't know why, but I feel like in our game, it's a lot more animated than in Skyrim. We use the um, we use the emotion slider, I think, a little bit more than Bethesda did in some places. Which I don't understand, because it's it's such an easy way to make NPCs uh, seem more impactful. What I I need I need to meet him outside all of Step. Yeah. Time. If yeah. if I wait an hour, he starts walking. You said. Uh, well, I mean, when we did it the other day, we waited an hour and he was there. Received a report from one uh, of the scouts watching the road. Oh, Raynal was spotted heading west out of Broom. I'll have to make sure follow, but lost <laughs> that he doesn't do that. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Broom because Raynal doesn't know we're after it. The lady in the background is grieving in her own unique way. <laughs> yeah. And run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please. You have my authorization to do everything you can to do my I think this is a good example as to why we still need that year. Whoa, did we just did we miss a, a one hundred dollar donation or am I reading it the wrong wrong way around? We're at fifteen thousand fifteen hundred. Yeah. 1500 not including YouTube. Yeah, that's crazy. 21, 1, 21, is what we're at. Wow. So we, we broke our own goal in the first day. Yeah. That's not, that's not even the C3 goal. I think, uh, the goal of C3 is to raise 2000 and our, our like personal goal as a project is to contribute 2025. Or was anyway. Maybe we need to come up with a new number. Eighty thousand dollars. Let's go. We can do it, guys. Why stop there? One hundred thousand dollars. No, wait. It makes so many wishes come true. One million Swedish crowns. Because that sounds more That's impressive. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, no matter how much you donate, 2024 release, no, not happening. <laughs> yeah, 2024 is not in the stars. Unless, listen, nothing's impossible, Unless okay? Everyone in this stream is a skilled developer and can join and help. <laughs> Ooh, dude, another 100 donation from Anonymous. Anonymous, you are incredible. Thank you so much. Todd is with you. Do you think, because uh, I, I was doing that interview with those Bethesda guys and I had that image of Todd Howard just in the background the entire time. <laughs> I, I, I didn't manage to actually ask what they may or may not have thought about that, if anything. It, well, that it must be so horrible. surreal for someone you know to have that kind of like meme, that meme uh, thing. Yeah. I, I generally hope that people don't take it like the wrong way. Like it's it's meant as a joke, you know. Yeah. I'm not actually that obsessed. I on a I had I had an interview at Bethesda uh, two years ago for like a local community manager role, which I ended up uh, uh, passing on. But during my interview, I actually met with well for starters a few a few people that I already met through like events. Um, but as I had my like my final interview, I realized like we have this this call on Microsoft Teams or it was Zoom, and I realized you know I have that I have that fucking picture in the background just like sort of like luring over my shoulder <laughs> as I as I'm talking with people that actually work with the guy, <laughs> and I I just I I realized like there's no way they didn't catch that, so I just I I tried to casually bring it up like hey, you may have noticed that Todd is uh, in the call as well. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not that 
you know bad shit crazy it's just that i i also stream sometimes it's kind of like a running joke you know like on the internet he's a bit of a meme um so it's 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 purely that you know it, it's 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 a funny guy to have in the background and if you have a stream some people notice it and we'll get a laugh out of it but i'm not i'm not actually that obsessed with the guy trust me but i'd love to work for you so you so you put out the candles you had lit around it yeah <laughs> i'll never yours. know also, um, this is another instance of the old landscape still remaining, even though it's been, you know, recreated over time. Uh, so that's why there's like a big blob in the way. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm curious to see how this is going to go, actually. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. All right, well, let's go for it. Oh, actually, before I go in, I mean... Never gonna say no to free loot. Eight gold. Score. I just want to take a second to appreciate a name I see in Twitch. Big Coagulated Gravy Hot Dog. That's an intense name. All right, we had a bit of a hiccup there, but that's fine. What happened? Um, I think because of the nav mesh that I added, the frost oh. troll was already there before he was supposed to jump out of the water. <laughs> so that's something we have to figure out. Uh, Valen, thank you for the five dollar donation. And the same with the wolf. The wolf is on on the nav mesh instead of up there. Um, this is another interesting thing, though. Um, as I uh, I was playtesting this this quest um, this week, and I realized, for instance, the the, uh, the quest ends in us opening this this chest, which is supposed to be locked with uh, three keys. Um, this is a it's a fine looking chest, so no complaints from me there. But we actually have a specific chest, like a boss chest, which looks very unique, very cool. Um, we have that in the game, so as I'm playing through this quest, you know, I get to the the chest that you're supposed to unlock, and I realize, you know, we have cooler stuff than this in the game. The person working on this uh, dungeon obviously did a fantastic job. Like it looks really amazing, and there's more uh, the further we go in. Um, but it's it's those kind of like small things that you only maybe think about when you're playtesting it. That okay, it might make sense to have a bit more of a pizzazz on that uh on that item in this case which th will then be added and polished also that wolf that, that wolf is supposed to be out of bounds for you the wolf is supposed to be up there running away uh and i think because i nav meshed the area it got teleported down somehow so all in all it's been a it's been a good buggy run and richard b thank you for 50 dollars uh to the cause Is it or weapon? I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. I saw you enter Olav's tap and tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of rumor somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. Certainly not. I'm surprised Carriers didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. Those are I prefer the chance for freedom. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. I just realized I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm using card mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The uh, the spells 
in the current version of the build, probably a little overpowered, so... I know, uh, yeah. You can spam them so quick. Yeah, it's because uh, they don't have a cooldown because they're converted directly from Oblivion. So, uh, it's not Paralyze. I think that is some kind of drain health. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he can just spam it on super low cooldown because... Oblivion spells didn't have a charge time, so <laughs> neither do our spells currently. Anything in the barrel? No. Alright, we got the keys though. Do we have all three? Brayden's key, Galaborn's key, and Raynil's key. Alright. That's all three. Hey, Exile. Oh, I just realized um, Fallout London have started their stream. Oh, shit. Okay, well, <laughs> then let's finish this quick and, and we'll give them a raid. Shoot. Mundane amulet. Well, that's disappointing. Also, look at the the troll. Such a great mesh. What did we? We just did a, a news post about. Um, we did, yeah. I oh. cannot remember the name of the. Uh... What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The thing triggered again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> also, I remember having to talk Roy out of, like, Roy wanted to leave their butt cheeks uncovered. Because he was like, oh, I've seen, I've seen uh, baboons. Baboons have, uh, have butts. And I was like, well, I think, I think in this case, it's okay to be, uh, a bit more on the fancy side and, and leave the butt cheeks covered. Because it, lo it looked, it looked funny. But like to the point where... I couldn't take trolls seriously anymore. But maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. Hey, Kraken. Alright, let's sprint my way to the... to the city and then we're we're good. So are you like one of the lead devs of Sky Oblivion? Man, he's not just the lead dev. This is Rebel's Eyes, the man, the uh, the driving force behind the project over a decade ago. Over a decade ago? I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but that just that made me sound like such a dork. No, 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 no. but you are. Dude, you're working, on a, you're working on a game remake project. You're a dork. That that part is true. <laughs> Still, I'm 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 a small part of a of a an a, a big big project. <laughs> that is exactly it. Had a vision and then talked others into doing it. Yeah. What news do you bring? The mod cod. I like that one too. <laughs> Long ago, I made a promise to Brayden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Brayden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Brayden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group. And before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. <laughs> no. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, 
and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Braden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Thank you. I will now speak the word, Brotherhood. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Brave would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Alright, so we have... F Phil... F can you help me with this word again? F it's a phylactery? Phylactery of lithonness. I assume. Uh, I have no, I know phylactery is the first word. Lithonness is a word I've never heard in my life. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. I hope so too, lady. The gracefulness of a person or animal that is flexible. I am pretty flexible. Well, and, and with that, um, the sun dawns on our stream, I suppose, quite literally. Uh, pretty well perfect timing. We can uh, jump on over to our friends at Fallout London. I'm sure with their, their release date coming up in only, what, two months? Yeah. I'm sure they're going to have that. some incredible stuff to uh, show off. Yeah. And your friend uh, Danny, ESO. Oh, he's there he's, now? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's there like uh, personality, I guess. Uh, okay. the, the talk person. Ah, the talk person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that does the voice uh, mouth stuff. I get it. Yeah, yeah, the speaky person. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, fantastic. Well, um, I don't want to end the stream quite yet. If, if you're okay, I'd like to keep going, at least on YouTube, for a little while longer. Because uh, I feel Absolutely. like we're so close to our uh, to our donation goal, we might be able to like get there if we just keep with it for a little little while longer. What do you think? So, so close to our we, we've crossed our donation goal, just not on uh, not on right. Tiltify. Yeah, but uh, we're at two thousand two hundred and eighty three dollars total for this two hour stream alone. You guys have been absolutely incredible. And to answer your question, yeah, I'm, I'm completely happy to keep streaming. All right. I think that's what we'll do then. Um, on that note, though, if you are watching uh, on Twitch, I'd like to um, share do, 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 um, Fallen stream with you uh, before we send people over to... Uh, uh, to follow London because uh, he's actually someone on the uh, on our team who's streaming at the moment and also if you want to stick around for the the Skoblivian stuff uh, that's what YouTube is for but I, I just shared the link to Fallen stream on the Twitch channel actually I'll spam the living shit out of it um, if you click that one you'll be able to see Fallen work on the user interface for Skoblivian which is a completely overlooked and underappreciated part of the project in like these final stages that we're in right now um that i think personally it's just it's super interesting to see it come together um and for the people on youtube i encourage you to stick around uh stay with us for a little bit longer and we will continue actually while i have you guys here um for the people on youtube and actually let me link the stream on twitch is this the stream? No, this is the stream. Uh, here's the stream link. What what uh, what's maybe a location we should look at when we uh, return to the stream? Any suggestions? Leave it in the chat. Leave it in the chat. Let us know. We can't show off the Imperial City because it's not done yet. <laughs> Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> I see that as the first oh, suggestion. Par parts of it are done, to be fair. 
true. Which districts are done again? Talos? Uh, Talos Plaza Market? and... No, not the Arboretum. district. Arboretum, Talos yeah. Plaza and Arboretum. Uh, do we have Cloud Ruler Temple in the build? Yeah. Good show of Cloud Ruler if you want. Is that what people are asking for? Is that is that what you're asking for? No, no, that's uh, that's that someone asked for it. Okay, I'll allow it. But we do need to raid Fallout London. Yeah, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the stream now. I'm not sure. Mm. If I if I if I start a raid, then my stream ends, even though my stream is still going. I think. Yeah, it does. That's annoying. Followed London seem to be live. Yeah, they are. I just checked their channel. They're live. Um. Yeah, in that case, for the people watching on Twitch, uh, if you want to stick with the the rest of the Scablivian thing. Um, you'll have to switch to YouTube right now. Uh, for everyone else, uh, we're going to be raiding Followed London, who are doing a showcase um, or like a development stream together with a few guests. So, um, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for all the donations. Um, it's been an absolute blast. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you all again in the next stream keep an eye on the stream team we have the adventurers uh, because we will have more developers streaming throughout this weekend uh, we have a bunch of streams planned um, so yeah do keep that in mind keep an eye on on the stream team keep an eye on twitch and uh, yeah thank you so much for the support it's been incredible I didn't think we would break the goal in one day. I, th I, th I would have expected us to need the second day at the very least. Yeah, no, you guys have been absolutely amazing with the amount of support you've given today. Thank you so much. For good measure, I'm sharing again the stream for Fallen and the stream for uh, Fallout London. In the uh, in the chat, ooh, and Henning just donated twenty five dollar dollars as well. All right, thank you, everyone. See ya. I was just talking to uh, to Twitch there. Everyone else is still here. Uh, all right, all right, we're good. We're good to continue. Wait, is the stream still live? Uh, your stream is still live, but I believe the viewers should have been transferred over to Fallout London, maybe. Mm. Uh, well, whatever the case, um, yeah, um, yeah I'm still the, view, here. the view has just popped up on their channel. Okay. Uh, Cloud Ruler is actually quite close. It's right yeah, there. Run to Cloud Ruler. Yeah. Um, I'm not able to see the uh, the chat anymore because the only chat I had open was uh, Twitch. So that's, that's okay. I've, I've, I've got YouTube open. Yeah, I, I paid um, for Streamlabs Pro, which means you can dual stream. And I thought, okay, great. Then I can also see the both chats. Unfortunately, it, it starts and ends with being able to stream on two, uh, two websites. You don't see this, the chat. So that was a, a waste. It was too bad. 
Let's see if we can get okay, some so, snowy so weather. The uh, the Twitch stream is still running. Yeah. Uh, who is Ryan? Has a very sexy voice. I I mean I don't disagree, but Ryan isn't in this stream. Maybe you're Ryan. I'm definitely not Ryan. Am I Ryan? Yeah. I'm Ryan all on things, the project. Ryan... Beautiful voice. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sure. I can agree. Because <laughs> I'm going to say, like, I, I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not the man with the, with a nice voice. You, you have a nice, you know, Australian accent. Yeah. The accent does more work than the voice. Can you say, buckle up, boogaroo? Buckle up, buckaroo? What? Oh, yeah. Is that, an, is that meant to be an Australian thing? No, not really, but I, where, where do I have that from? I heard it somewhere. Can you say prawn? Prawn? Can you say Bobby? Come on. Bobby? Bobby? No, no. Are you Bobby. Bobby. Like a barbecue? Yeah. yeah. Barbie. I'll snag okay. on the Barbie, mate. Can you, can you now say um, throwing some prawns on the Barbie? But that doesn't make sense because Australians don't even call prawns. What do you say? Shrimp. We'd oh, say shrimp. shrimp on the barbie. Ah, but shrimp doesn't sound all that Australian. But Australians don't say prawns, really. Not okay. often. That's my bad. Can you say shooey? <laughs> we did a shooey at my brother's wedding. Great, great Australian culture. I'm uh, I'm going to be seeing an Australian man tomorrow. And I got I got wonderful shoes. And I'm it's going to be his birthday, so I'm going to try and convince him to do a shooey with my shoe. Is that a thing, you think? Uh, you can try. Kangaroo. What? Mate, what, what is this? Why has this suddenly become a stream about me being Australian? Why haven't, why hadn't it turned into uh, an Australian stream before? That's the bigger question. Also, we, we have arrived. Oh, yeah, we can lockpick the door. That's okay. Just use the unlock command. How dare you, sir? <laughs> cloud ruler. The only thing we still need to do is add like actual clouds towards, uh, like to, to to surround the fortress and the, the mountains. It's yeah, ever it's... so slightly bigger than it was in Oblivion. Yeah, a little bit. It's got a really cool glass stained window as well. I'm not sure if it had that in Oblivion. I don't think so. Are the glass stained windows? Yeah, just well, just one. If you look at the stream now, you should be able to see it. Oh, up the top. I, yeah, I never looked up there in Oblivion. Well, most people probably won't either, but it's it's there. So <laughs> Shadow put in the time and effort, so people better appreciate it. <laughs> it's a beautiful window. It is a beautiful window. All right, chat. We need more suggestions. Where should we go? What should we do? We have a little bit of time left. Have I have I missed any donations, by the way? Oh, almost certainly. Well, to be fair, donations are your job. Make sure people are recognized and, and uh, appreciated properly. I can, I can do the the YouTube ones. That's fine. The the uh, Tiltify ones are tricky because there's no like option to just sort by most recent. Yeah. If I could sort by most recent donation, I'd be able to keep track of it. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, how about how about Chet telling us where uh, where we should go next, though? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're getting a lot of people saying uh, Coral, obviously. Yeah, we're saving that for the Dev Diary. Yeah. Um, Wayne and Priory, a lot of people are asking for. I've seen that pop up a few times. Well, that's, that's basically uh, Coral. Okay, fair enough. Um, the Gold I mean, Coast. You know, you have Coral and you have Wayne and Priory, like right next door. Gold Coast, we could do, yeah. There's a um, big blob of red where I still have to do the whale carcass fin gleam Easter egg. Uh, Boethia's Realm. Um, Hacked it. 
Hack Nerd is one that uh, could be interesting. Yeah. I believe we, uh, I believe in the latest uh, merge, Ryan actually significantly improved performance there. Yeah. So I'm going to give <laughs> the people, it's going to be a win-win because I need to, <laughs> win in probably is the closest thing to it. And I didn't want to unlock all the, the, the map markers, so fine. The, um, the chat wins well, as always. What happened to Skywind and Moral Oblivion? Skywind is still working on their project and they're doing fantastic work over there. Yeah. Uh, and Moral Oblivion, I think, is released and playable. Yeah, it has been released for years. I'm always a bit confused why people ask about Moral Oblivion or say that Moral Oblivion just faded into nothingness because it has been out for so long. And I think it's still getting updates, actually. There's still like a, a small legacy team of people working on, on fixing stuff as it pops up. So yeah, if, if, uh, if that is something you want to play, go play it. Have we thought about merging projects? Do you mean with Skywind? Yeah, that's that's a nightmare. <laughs> uh, not really a lot of benefit to be gained from that. Uh, also, not really very possible. Things. Oh. Uh, the entire fort is gone. I don't think that's that was supposed to happen. No. Whoops. It's meant oh to be a castle my. here, guys. You don't think that Ryan may have merged like a test plugin where he removed the entire fort to check performance or something? Or no, wait. I see stuff phasing in and out. What the hell is going on? I also I don't see the marker. Isn't this supposed to be? Oh no, Kar Karmala. It is there. Wait. Yeah, Fort Karmala. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't know what's happening there or whether it's just the it could just be the the model missing because that's all been merged into one single mesh oh gotcha oh yeah well th those are still loose assets I'm just gonna take a screenshot or is Ryan maybe watching this uh, Ryan was watching I don't know if he still yeah, is. yeah he was here before Game development, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that just a missing mesh, Ryan? I, I assume it is. That's how that's what I'm seeing. I love the atmosphere of the Great Forest. It's great. <laughs> Ryan's, uh, Ryan's saying you didn't uh, didn't update your build. Uh when? I got I got the latest merge. I don't have like git from no, I don't it's, know, it's, three it's, days ago. Uh, yeah, it's he pushed it oh, probably. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, it's for those massive nifs. Yeah. I remember. Oh, I remember. Well, uh, whoever asked for heck dirt, here you are. In all of its grimy goodness. Yeah, I would say in all its glory, but I don't think glory is quite the right word for it. I love that the weather is constantly uh, kind of muggy and and foggy really adds to the atmosphere uh i don't think any of the interiors are done but uh the caves underneath yeah I that's believe. that's what I'm, what I'm thinking like the the interior that's not how you write unlock the interior may it's not okay. be done but the place underneath the interior is oh no this has been worked on Get nice out of here. Run going to be trouble. <laughs> run away <laughs> Oh, you got some brethren annoying you. Uh, could you see the Shivering Isles? No, because uh, we haven't worked on it yet. This place needs work, though. Yeah, I, I don't think the, the basement hasn't been worked on, clearly. I don't know if the caverns are in the build yet, either. Yeah, they are. I'm so hungry, I still haven't had dinner. <laughs> we've made I feel like we've done a good job making the uh hack dirt caverns appropriately ominous. Yeah, I love I love this as well. Yeah. And the only thing that annoys me about hack dirt is that there's basically unique assets for this area, like the rock stuff that's only used here, and that 
That tickles my brain the wrong way. <laughs> Not efficient. Not at all. <laughs> no. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, what is it called? That uh, that pass in um, Return of the King. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name. The way you shot. Dak hurt for the win. Yeah, so uh, I actually worked on the, the quest for Hack Dirt as well, so you might get to rescue a certain um, Argonian Ooh. maiden from uh, these creepy fish people. Speaking of which, another thing we need to do, we need to make the Hack Dirt brethren. I don't think they look a, uh, appropriately creepy enough. I, I, think, uh, I think Heavy Burn's already worked on it a bit. Uh, but the, the the face gen needs to be uh, properly added and merged. Good lord. Now yeah, this is the place with the cage. Why are there so many penises surrounding this, uh, this hallway? <laughs> That is a very phallic <laughs> rock, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jamie just looks like a dick. <laughs> 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 or I don't know, maybe maybe the brain just sees what it wants to see. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, this place is uh, fantastic, though. And I would love to give credit to the guy who, who made it, but I'm repeatedly told that I keep mispronouncing his name. Matt. It's, uh, let's go with Matt, because the full version I cannot say. Matthew. Didn't you tell me it's not Matthew? Yeah, but fuck it. He's Matthew now. You guys have convinced me. They've made some incredible mods on the Nexus as well, um, like dungeon replaces and new yeah. dungeons as well. And they've done such a good job overhauling like the encounters and making um, making dungeons feel interesting. What's not fair though is that they they've been modding for what like one or two years. Like I've been doing it for over a decade, and I can't do what they what they do. They do stuff I can only dream of. That's that's true with uh, so many people working on this project. Like uh, Fallen, he's relatively new to modding, and he just decided that he would teach himself the new super niche uh, skill of like UI modding for Bethesda games. Yeah, which no one does for a good reason. Yeah, it's it's. I I mean. He makes it seem pretty approachable, but there's like no documentation on it, and he just gets in and does it. Oh, we could have gone in through this as well. No, there's uh, eight or nine entrances in Hacked Out. Yeah. All right, any other suggestions of something that people would like to see? Uh, people are saying the Talos Plaza? Actually, it's one guy repeatedly saying the Talos Plaza, but that'll do. I'm not sure if I should do that, because that's kind of like a... Oh, no, wait, did... No, we haven't shown our foot. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'll glance Heavy over Burns. it. Heavy Burns is in the chat. Does he mind us showing off the Arboretum? He worked on that with uh, uh, Kazu. Wait, why can I see the, the Talos Plaza? Uh, it's further out <sighs> to the left next to the stable to the left of the stables what the flip so that's not supposed to be there but okay yeah, to, the to the left of the stables the icon's just further out yeah yeah, yeah I know and uh, the UI is still like we, we have custom map markers for all the districts I actually remember making way back the uh the map marker for oh, oh. 
the Talos district. <laughs> Ryan said, don't show off the Arboretum. Okay. I'm not going to show off the Talos district properly anyway, because, you know, and I really like to be, like, for that to be part of a proper video, but I'll glance over it. Even, like, what people saw on the trailer, it's been more or less completely overhauled since then. And this is just a, a generic placeholder statue, I think. I'm pretty sure. Is that... Is that Caesar? He yeah. actually said, don't, don't show off either. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. Recommendation for... Uh... Recommendation for uh, something else to show off, guys. That's going to be the last uh, one, though, because I am starving and tired, and I need to get up in a few hours to get on a 12-hour-long train, so... Uh, someone's saying Hrota Cave, but I don't even know. Uh, someone wants to see an alien ruin, uh, and Hinamoto said Sersen is uh, uh, merged. Uh, where did it go? S E R C E N. S E? Yep. Oh, no. I'll also not go too far into this one because A Laid Ruins are part of the next developer diary as well. It's oh, really? Oh. Dark as <laughs> shit, though. Like, our, our, our e nighttime could use uh, a bit more of a brightness Light. boost. But we are missing one of the two moons, I think. Yeah, we're missing a lot of stuff, to be fair. Can you imagine the strength required to open one of those doors? Just right open. Oh, that's Ow. pretty. I like the ivy. Oh, tripwire. I go again, murdering everyone. This is beautiful. This is the first time I've seen this. This is looking really nice in a motor. Yeah. This is cool. Oh. And, and oh, what the fuck? <laughs> A person behind that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think they're supposed to be sitting on it, but without NAF mesh, they probably can't find the the throne. <laughs> Just stand behind it and wait for someone to sit. Yeah, I think like combat in the game currently looks really janky because NPCs simply don't react. But that's purely because there's no NAF mesh. So people don't know where they're supposed to be going. Oh, and the markers of the chairs are also the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, so th that's why she was behind the chair, because she, she was sitting. Oh, But because the up. markers are, are sw swapped around, it looked even goofier than it already was. I wonder why these textures are missing for me, though. That's strange. What are the, uh, the reliquies? Yeah, um, the chest and the Welkin Stone. That's odd. Oh, the Welkin Stone's missing as well. Yeah. yeah. I've I've seen that being used. I would replace this one. Yeah, you know, might as well do a little bit of feedback QA. I would replace the cooking pot with the static one, so people can start cooking on a cold slab. And just stir. Just <laughs> Other than that, though, it's fine. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, 
I've got one last request, maybe, that I think is a pretty cool place to show off. Is the... Oh... Actually, maybe not. The Shrine of Molag Baal. Why not? Mm, no, actually, I think it's fine. It's It should be, like, the, the thing is replaced, the statue. Okay, I'm gonna make it real quick, though. Real quick. Haven't we gotten any more donations? I haven't seen any for a yeah. while. None, none in the YouTube chat. Um, okay. Well, it's it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm just... We had the five dollar donation from Anonymous a while ago. All right. Two thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars total. Respectable. That's a that's a pretty nice amount for charity to be raised in a single morning. Yeah, I'd say so. Here's uh, Mr. Ball, by the way. Get a better time of day for this. I feel like, I feel like there's a night time of day when like the sun's shining down on him. Uh, thank you, Anonymous, for five Canadian dollars. Uh, dollars. Thank you, Anonymous, for ten US dollars, and thank you, Dub Selector, for f five US. Are you okay? No, I'm just choking. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, if, uh, if, uh, sorry. You go. Well, I was going to say with that, uh, I think it might be a good place for me to call it because I, I, I need to start packing and I need to start eating and I need to start sleeping. Basically, all of those three things in like the next 30 minutes. So, yeah, this has been fun. Uh, I'm going to be looking forward to all the other streams because as I said, there's other people that are... Damn it. They're supposed to be streaming uh, the rest of today and tomorrow. Uh, from the Scoblivian team, so do give everyone a follow who is in the Adventurers team, the, the, the stream team that you may see on Twitch. Um, for those people on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. Ooh, Zero Saki, thank you for the five dollars. Um, yeah, thank you everyone very much for tuning in. If you're not yet subscribed on YouTube, uh, please do so. Um, also, follow Scoblivian on social media. You can stay up to date uh, on the progress of well, the project and everything that we do. Um, with that said, uh, there's one last thing I'd like to contribute tonight, if you give me a second. Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Thank you, Earthling, for the ten dollar donation, and one of a uh, one of Western kind for the twenty euro donation. I'm also just going to put another link to uh, Fallout London uh, on YouTube for anyone that wants to check that out. For sure. All right. That brings us close enough. Uh... Yeah. Sweet. $250 donation. Thank you, Rebel's Eyes. What do you mean? For, for the donation. I just saw it. Wasn't me. <laughs> Wasn't you? No, I think I think I got hacked. I think someone got into my uh, my paper on... Uh... Not again. Yeah. Oh, well. It happens. But hey, if, if they were going to uh, do something shitty, um, at least it was for a good cause. So that, that got us... I, in hindsight, I should have done two... Two... No, three hundred. That would have been exactly the amount we needed right it would have been shit but uh that's okay miscalculated 
yeah um thank you everyone <clears throat> again uh from the bottom of my heart for uh for supporting this you know fun little charity event as i said there's more stuff planned so um <clears throat> yeah hope to see you all there um i'm gonna go have dinner um so i'll leave i'll leave the music running for a little bit uh and yeah hey <laughs> There we go. Fish Fiends just donated $50. <laughs> 20, 2025. And Ryan Komakirik again with uh, 51 US dollars uh, on YouTube as well. Uh, so I think that makes us 27... 2732 total raised. Oh, yeah. I don't know. 2682 maybe. Well, so there we go. smashed our goal thank you everyone so much and uh hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day thanks a lot this has been such a hectic little little uh little friday hectic start of my uh my one week vacation but i wouldn't have uh wanted it any other way so thank you all very much for the support um see you when we see you I just I just realized I don't have an outro thing for the stream. I only have this one. Like the best thing I had is the intermission one. Um Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Wait, I could have sworn Okay, hold on. February 2nd and 3rd, a worldwide collaborative of modders and... Nope. Did I not have, like, the trailer? Oh, yeah, I do. All right, here we go. I have the, the trailer to, uh, to outro us. Thank you all again. Have a wonderful the rest of the evening. And, uh, she see you is in chaos. Soon. Bye, everyone. And now, at the turning of the era, the ruby throne sits empty. The enemy have arrived. We have to act quickly. Take up arms and close shut the marble jaws of oblivion. Find my son. He alone can determine the fate of the Empire. The fate of Cyrodiil. Love you, bye.